Well, we've been covering what's been going on in the city of Chicago with a lot of the migrants, the migrant crisis that's going there. We also been covering New York. And if you would like to hear, you know, some of those uh, longer videos is our podcast. You can go to the Philip Scott podcast, make sure you go to the Phil Scott podcast channel, subscribe to that. You know, we do, you know, our, our podcast is, 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 you know, lengthy. And some of you maybe like a little bit longer content, and but we are expounding on this issue in Chicago. Well, recently, Chicago has done something else. You know, the Democrat Party, that a lot of black people in Chicago voted for, unfortunately. There are housing migrants in places to stay now, and they're paying their rent. Let's go ahead and roll that. Welcome back. We are learning much more about the migrant crisis right here in Chicago. I spoke with Christina Passioni Zayas, the city's first deputy chief of staff. She gave me insight on how the crisis is impacting the city and the state financially. Already this week, 41 buses have rolled into Chicago, and that means there are now 11,000 migrants living in shelters. 4,000 are still sleeping on police station floors and staying at the airport. Now, this is really startling. 30% of migrants here in Chicago are children. Majority of them are attending Chicago public schools. Right now, the state is footing the bill for what they call temporary housing, apartments and homes that are rented out for migrants. The state is paying on the high end $9,000 in rental assistance over a six month period of time. With that comes help moving in and a starter kit to furnish the apartment. That rent lasts for six months and ideally people would have um, started their legal process, secured legal work authorization, and then be able to sustain that apartment. And so the the cost, or I guess the, the payment towards the landlord is based on market rate. It's based on the configuration of the apartment, how many rooms, where it's located, all of those things. And so it, it kind of varies from place to place. Now, to, to a lot of our brothers and sisters in Chicago who, you know, struggling right now, who maybe some of you struggling to pay rent, some of you probably could be even facing eviction. You know, they've been record evictions all over the country. Has the city of Chicago offered to pay $9,000 toward your rent for six months? I mean, seriously, I mean, you, a lot of you are taxpayers and they're not, this is what they say, they get a starter kit. So basically they are getting uh, furnished, they're getting everything. Now they come over to this country. They didn't vote. Now, now they didn't, the Democrats come to you and say, vote for us, vote, 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 vote. Right. And then you come out and vote and then you get nothing out of the vote. It's not that voting don't work. It's just the people you're voting for is working against you. They don't prioritize you. Now on a podcast, we covered that, Without the black vote, the Democrats would never win. They would never win an election if black people say, yeah, I'm not voting for you. They, even if they had the white vote, the Hispanic vote, and Asian vote, they have shown they cannot win elections without the black vote. And I said in that podcast, that's where our power lies politically, is that we should collectively punish the Democrat party for what they're doing. There's a lot of homeless people right now in Chicago it is cold right now in Chicago. It's not snowing yet, but it's cold without looking at the weather reports over there. And you have, why, where, why isn't our homeless population being put up in apartments and homes and all of that? Why are they getting a starter pack? What about suffering people, low income people in Chicago who are citizens of the uh, America and also residents of Chicago? Why are they getting that? Now, see, black folks, I know you're suing out there in the, in the uh, South Shore uh, region. You're suing to stop them from putting migrants in your area. I know they protested about uh, putting migrants in the uh, Munson Park field house, but it's going to get, it's, y'all going to have to start getting together and, and filing lawsuits to get these programs because these programs are discriminatory in nature. And let me explain to you why it's discriminatory. If you're not going to pay everybody's rent, then you pay no rent. It's just that simple. You can't say we're going to pay rent for these people who aren't even taxpayers of the city of Chicago. They didn't vote for Brandon Johnson at all. So Brandon Johnson and the Democrats are prioritizing the migrants over the citizens of that city and the taxpayer. 
It should be lawsuits filed to stop that. You want to pay? Fine, pay, but pay for everybody. It's just that simple. This is a slap in the face to the black voters in Chicago. It's a slap in the face. Black people have been begging forever for resources. Y'all close all the black people's schools, Rahm Emanuel, in Chicago. Most of the schools in black areas that they closed. And what they're trying to do, they're trying to put them in those schools. And do you even know, because we covered this, in O'Hare Airport, they're even having them as shelters over there. Like, okay, y'all allowing them to be in the airport as a shelter? Like, oh, I said, come on, what's going on? I said, because this can be done a whole lot better than that. Now, she said that 41 buses were sent that week and the majority of them coming from Texas because Chicago has still is a sanctuary of city status. Now, there was recently a poll done and it said black people, Hispanics and Asians all agree in unison that Chicago should not be a sanctuary city. All of them agreed to that. But you know who agreed that they should be a sanctuary city? The white folks in that city. So this is what I would say. Send the migrants to their neighborhoods. Don't send them to the black neighborhoods. Don't send them to the Hispanic neighborhoods. Send them to the white neighborhoods since they agree with sanctuary city status. Because even though the city of Chicago is going through a crisis, even though they're suffering a major crisis right now, they still will not revoke sanctuary city status. Brandon Johnson He's not even worried about people that's voting for him. I said this before. I looked at the laws. Y'all can recall Brandon Johnson after six months. It takes two aldermen to put, put it up and signatures from the people. I think in every district, I think 50 signatures. Y'all can recall Brandon Johnson, but this is what I said in the podcast. You can't replace Brandon Johnson with another Democrat because you basically replace him with the same person. Y'all got rid of Lori Lightfoot, right? You say, oh, Lori Lightfoot. It's not a Lori Lightfoot problem. It's not even a Brandon Johnson problem. It's a Democrat policy problem. And you going sometimes you gotta do other things outside of Democrat. And I know that just freaks you out. I know some of you just lose your mind. But if another candidate pops up from another party, even if they're Republican, and say, "Look, I'm in the same where city status," and hey, they they gotta go. It's like we got too much issues in Chicago that we got to deal with here for citizens. Then that's going to be more so along the lines that black people we couldn't agree with. Because it's ridiculous. You're paying their rent now, but black people all can't get their rent paid to save their life. Black folks, Chicago, you should be at city hall about this one. You should be at city hall and demanding your check. Everybody can get a reparations and everything else, but a black person. You should be telling Brandon Johnson, Hey, I'm here for my $9,000 check too. I need my, I need my rent be paid for six months. I need that. I've been in this city for 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. And y'all ain't paid a rent for me, but these people come across the border and, and y'all just giving them the rent money. But you can't give it to us. Oh no. Lawsuits need to be filed and people need to be at city hall right now demanding their checks.